Good morning. I hope everybody is okay. Bit of good news and a bit of bad news. Let's let's start with the bad news, okay? So today is the 24th of June. Today was meant to be McFly Day, like the McFly anthology tour in Manchester, which, as I've said in a previous vlog, is postponed until September, which, unfortunately for me, is not the best date because I don't think I can go to it. But, oh, and another bit of bad news, actually still a bit clogged like as you can see my voice uh, hearing my voice i have got a bit of a hay fevery kind of clogged throat i also had a viral infection but i'm feeling much better today which is really good because the good news is instead of the mcfly tour i'm off to london which is going to be really really exciting so this is why i'm vlogging because it's just going to be a really really great day it was also the eu referendum vote in the UK yesterday so it's kind of like between 12am and 6am this morning um obviously not going to go into anything because people have got their opinions and their views which is absolutely fine I don't want to share what I voted or my opinion on it all I will say is that we are now no longer part of the EU that is all that's being said I don't want to say anything else about it but going to London today is probably not the best idea but we'd already pre-booked it and everything so I've already packed like my case down here, I just need to put some extra bits in. Um, kind of got like a little bag to take, some ripped jeans which I think I'm going to put on this morning, um, some jumpers, pyjamas, jeans, you know, your kind of obvious things that you take with you. I'm also taking a raincoat because I've looked at the weather forecast and it's forecast thunderstorms for tomorrow, so that's happening. So this is what I think I'm going to wear. I bought some new Bring Me The Horizon t-shirts from Pulp in Nottingham when I went uh, last weekend. Which I was going to vlog but I just felt really, really ill that weekend. And this is from like the Sem... Uh, not the Sem Paternal, the That's The Spirit range, like the new one. So this is one of them. I do have some more so I will show you kind of as the day goes along um, the next few days but I really liked this design the colour I love this kind of colour that we're going for and they do phone cases in these um, but because I don't have an iPhone I haven't got one so yes that is what I'm wearing I always tend to wear the same things in vlogs I think it's because I want to wear my best clothes when I'm kind of filming and things so I think that's everything so far I'm going to get packed and then I'm getting the train probably about an hour's time I've got to go to Retford, so from mine to Retford, which is like a 10 minute uh, train journey, then from Retford to London, because it's quicker doing it that way, way rather than going all the way to Donny, Doncaster, and then down. So it only takes just over an hour, so it's quite good really. And then Tom's train comes into a different station, so we've got to meet each other and sort things out. So I will catch up with you in a while. So I'm all ready, it's very warm and I've decided to wear all black, which is not great, but hey ho, um, I like my outfit, let's not stand in front of the window, but I just want to show you my new backpack, I got one of the galaxy like space ones, because I was just needing a bigger backpack for when I go places for not that long, so I can like shove like main things in, so that's really cool, very happy with that, I got the last one in the shop, yes I spent so much money in port, but it was so worth it. Also, before I quickly, quickly forget, Orange is the New Black Season 4, finished it the other day. What a finale, like, if anyone watches it, please tell me what you think of that finale down below. If you're behind, I'm not going to give any spoilers, obviously, because that is very annoying, but I was just not expecting that. I cried at episode 12, like that. It was just, honestly, one of the best series on Netflix, so if you haven't watched it, go and give it a try. If you like prison drama, it's not a prison drama, it's more like a comedy drama it's got deep issues but it's also comedy based as well so it's really good there's 13 episodes per season and there's four seasons and season four came out last friday and i watched it in six days so yeah some pretty little liars is also back season seven which is the final season ever which i am very sad about because i only got onto the pll hype like a year ago i was very late into the hype um so now it's going to be all over before I know it, but really, really excited. This this season looks like it's going to be one of the best because of everything that's come out, like the Mary Drake thing, Ali's married a cousin and all that. Sorry if you've not seen it yet, but that's just what happens. So, yes. I will see you 
at the train station. The train of the day, very warm, but we're nearly, nearly at the end of the road. Say it down, my favourite school, college, uni. We are here. What we're talking about, well, we're honest, we're talking about how Tom is now 23, so he's now overtaken me in age for a bit <laughs> until I catch him up in a few months. But yeah, nearly at 30, nearly, nearly five years from 30. You'll always be it. Two just there before me. Yeah, seven years from thirty. It's quite scary. It's scary how life goes so quick. Like six six years since I left school, so it must be seven years since you left. And it's it's gone so quick since like, I've been in that jobs college and stuff. We're waiting for a taxi, he said he was gonna come back. And we're still sat in the taxi rack. Waiting. It's now like quarter past four. It took us like two hours to get to this place because in St Pancras I was at one end and Don was like upstairs at the other end and we couldn't find each other so that took about 10 minutes then we got stuck getting tickets <laughs> then, then we got stuck getting tickets that must have took at least 20 minutes they were just so slow but this is the mm. never been to Boreham Wood before but it's where all the film stuff's done some of the TV stuff and things you can get like your buses over here and the train station just there but I underestimated the weather. I thought it was going to rain and it's so warm. <laughs> you forget how warm the south is when you live in the north. In the north you just get used to it being cold. It's just, you never expect sun in the north. It's really hot. I've been to the toilet for two hours. It's not fun. So I can't wait to yeah, go to the go. hotel and have a wee. Yeah. And the taxi is here. So we'll get in the taxi. Traffic in London, just stand still. Oh, it's boiling in here. <laughs> Remember this high street? It's on celebrity juice. Oh, I don't know this area. Studios, that's so, Dad. If you're watching, that's uh, where you went years ago. <laughs> Your interview. I'm very excited. What's your, what's your favourite? Not going out episode. Mine, yeah. Kind of a thing, yeah. <laughs> no idea. I, I, why is Tim Bynum in it anymore? Huh? Why isn't Tim Bynum in it anymore? No, it should be. It was good. And they just like kicked him off the show or something. I'm not sure what happened. If anybody knows that. So we're just in the room, Tom's turned the TV on, very loud, and I'm trying to talk, turn this down, when I can find the volume button. I think they've given us a disabled room, which isn't fine, but it's just a bit weird. We've got a TV here, beds as close together as they could possibly be, a desk and then a toilet down there. Um, a nice little shelf actually, so if you want to put any books on. We've even got a hair dryer and coat hangers and stuff. And then a mirror here, which is amazing because I like big mirrors to see in the morning. So if I was on floor in a bed right now, I'd be looking around for different things. This is the view out here. 
well not film those people but um we're opposite something i don't know what it's not too bad so we're gonna order room service get like phones charged and just relax for the next hour until we're back out again <sighs> so i'll catch you on the flip side Okay, so quick outfit change because it's quite windy outside. I've got my new Bring With The Horizon hoodie on which has this like star logo and on the back it says Bring With The Horizon Steel City because it's from Sheffield and Sheffield is known as the Steel City which is also like near my hometown. Yeah, from Sheffield. And then I've got a beanie on so my hair doesn't blow everywhere. So yeah, that is uh, that. So we are off to the studios which is just across from the hotel. I've got the keys. I always end up having to look after them. I've got a key, huh? <laughs> well, I've got a key. Turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. I don't know if I've... You turn off the There we go. <laughs> and this is the uh, the hotel kind of corridor. Kind of floor. Ticket. Yes. I have my ticket. I had some pasta, which is very nice. Say inappropriate things. <laughs> Sorry. Did I lift? Oh, the lift has shut on us. Go down the stairs. Oh, you're not meant to use that, it's a fire exit. Of course you're meant to use it. No, you don't want to use it in a fire. No. Don't you want? <laughs> That's called a fire exit. No, I don't think you're meant to. So. Oh. My arm aches in this camera all the time. Well, I won't be able to film in there because she's not allowed. But I'll film the outside part and get some shots there. It's still quite warm but a bit breezy. The problem with being northern is you prepare yourself for the cold. So you're like, oh it looks cold outside, I'll put a hoodie on. And then when you come outside it's quite warm. So I need to get used to the southernness. But you forget. to 11, half 10-ish. Um, it was really, really good actually in there. You got the key. Um, but the, it's weird, like, seeing it filmed as a TV show. They filmed every scene twice because they said it was something to do with the camera angles. They have to get the different angles for, like, when they show it on the TV, you can see it from different angles. So you watch one scene and then you have to watch it again and you have to laugh in the I same places. The oh, yeah, and they do pick-ups. Is that, like, if they do, like, bits they're not happy with? Yeah. The, the bits that they're not happy with, they have to do those again. Uh, and Lee Mack just, he never moves his lines, so he just Fs his lines up all the time. And he was doing this line, honestly, I think it took him about 15 attempts to get this line right. Oh. And I think all the audience just cheered when he got it, because we'd just been sat there waiting for him, just for him to do this line. Uh, but we had this woman behind us. How annoying was that laugh, though? Oh, she had, like, the loudest laugh. We were quite far back, and it was... <laughs> It was that kind of like literally a couple of seats on the back of the row behind us. She had the loudest laugh down my ear for the whole time. But yeah, really, really interesting. If you watch the series, if you know the series that I mean, you're in for a treat because it's different to the previous series. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not giving any spoilers away because it's going to be so fun when people watch it. But I'm going to sign off the vlog here and see you tomorrow, probably quite early um, because. We don't want to waste our day. So, check back with you tomorrow. No. No!